In general, Microsoft licensing could be intimidating and complex. Your choices could make a big impact on your costs. My name is Carlos, and today we will talk about Microsoft 365 licenses and what you should know to make a better decision when purchasing Microsoft 365 for your business. We will also see how to access an interesting variety of Microsoft licenses and how to buy them within your Microsoft Admin Center. When talking about Microsoft 365, we need to understand that there are three big categories. Home family, business, and enterprise. Enterprise is for businesses with more than 300 users. In this video, we will focus our attention on Microsoft 365 business. It means for businesses from 1 to 300 users. Let's start by comparing Microsoft 365 home and family licenses versus business. You should know that business licenses allows you to have the email service with your domain name, based on Exchange, the same as Enterprise. The personal family plans do not provide that kind of email service, and it is why you should not consider it for your business. There are many other services and features that are included in the business licenses, but for many users, the email service is probably one of the most important things when selecting Microsoft 365 business, or at least when you are planning to buy it for the first time. Now, there are four types of business licenses, basic, standard, premium, and business apps. As we just mentioned, all the business licenses allow you to have your business email service with your domain name, except the business apps. They also provide one terabyte of cloud storage on OneDrive and SharePoint. By the way, here I have a video that explains how to set up your Microsoft 365 business with your domain name. The main difference between basic and standard is the capability to download the Office apps to your desktop. With the basic one, you can only use the Office apps online. On the other hand, Business Premiums provide the same features that the standard version, plus some additional security services that can be a subject for another video. Now, the other important difference between the business licenses is the price. In the US, the basic license costs $5 a month per user versus $12.50 for the standard version. The business premium costs $20 per month per user. These are the prices when you buy the licenses from Microsoft. The prices could be different when you purchase it from a Microsoft reseller or partner. The other business license is Microsoft 365 Business Apps. It costs $8.25 per month per user, which only includes the apps for your desktop. No email service is included in this option. Now, there are other options that are not evident when purchasing Microsoft 365 licenses, and here is the main purpose of this video. It is something that could give you additional flexibility when you have multiple users with different needs. Microsoft also offers all the type of licenses that can be combined with the traditional licenses that we just reviewed. These are some licenses called Microsoft Exchange Online. They provide the email service as the regular business license do. It means that if you have a user that does not need cloud storage or access to the Office apps, this can be a useful option to save some money. There are two types of Exchange Online. Exchange Online Plan 1, which is $4 a month per user and provide a 50 gigabyte mailbox. There is also Exchange Online Plan 2, it is $8 a month per user and provide a 100 gigabyte mailbox plus unlimited storage via in-place archive. There are many other Microsoft licenses that you can purchase within the Microsoft Admin Center, like for example, Microsoft Project, Visio, Voice, Dynamic 365, and many others. Let's now jump into our computer and I will show you how you can purchase these licenses from your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. First, we need to access our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You will need to have the admin role. If you do, 
you will find the admin icon as we see it here. By the way, if you have purchased Microsoft 365 from a reseller, there are chances that you don't have assigned the admin role. In that case, I suggest you to contact the reseller and ask to assign the admin role to your account. There are resellers that won't give you the option to have admin role. In my opinion, it is a good reason to change the, or transfer your Microsoft 365 subscription to another reseller or directly to Microsoft. Then we click on the admin icon. Within the admin center, we need to find for billing. Click on here. And then we click on purchase services. Here you will be able to find all the available categories with all the Microsoft licenses that you can add to your subscription. If you know the name of the license or service that you want to buy, you can enter it here and search for it. In this case, we are going to add Exchange Online. We already know that Exchange Online is under Collaborations and Communication. So we just click here and we will find Exchange Online Plan 1 and Exchange Online Plan 2. Then we can select either Plan 1 or Plan 2. We can click on Details and you will find the options to add the number of licenses that you want. You will see two options here. You can select to pay monthly or yearly. As we said before, Exchange Online Plan 1 will give you a mailbox with 50 GB of storage. Then we can click on Buy. If you haven't entered the payment information, you will be asked for it. As we selected for this license, we can search for all the kind of licenses. For example, we can click on Microsoft 365 and we will be able to find the regular Microsoft 365 business licenses. Like for example, Microsoft 365 Business Premium, Microsoft 365 Basic and Microsoft 365 Standard. In the same way, you click on Details. Again, you select the number of licenses that you want and how you want to pay for them monthly or yearly. The prices that we are seeing here are in Canadian dollars. The prices will be shown on your local currency. Once you complete the payment, you can create new users and assign the new licenses or assign the new licenses to existing users. In that case, you click on users, active users. If you want to create a new user, you just click on add user. You will need to enter the information for this new user and during the process you will be asked to assign the license that you want for this user. If you want to assign a license to an existing user, just click on the user and on the right side of your screen you will be able to select licenses and apps. If you have available licenses, you will be able to assign the license to this user. If you purchased your Microsoft 365 subscription from a reseller, you are still able to purchase new licenses from Microsoft. And if you want to update your payment information or add a new credit card, you can click on payment method here on the left. You will see your current credit card to pay for your subscription. And you will be able to add new, a new credit card. When you purchase your subscription from a reseller, you probably won't see any credit card here. However, you will be able to add a credit card by clicking here and then you will be able to pay for your new licenses to Microsoft. What we have seen here is an essential information that can help you understand the type of licenses that every user may need in your business. Keep in mind that you can combine the different type of licenses. In other words, not all users need to have the same type of license. This flexibility can help you spend or invest your money in the best way. I hope you find value in this information, and if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. As always, if you have any question or comment, please leave it here down below. And if you want to find this video easily in the future, or want to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button. Remember, it is free, and it helped me to continue creating content like this one. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.